If you've been on Facebook lately, you've probably seen quite a few posts about a new app called Parlor. Thousands of Facebook users say they're going to switch to this app because of privacy and censorship concerns. Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker has a closer look at the app and what to expect if you decide to use it. An awful lot of people fed up with Facebook, they say, over its policies of what they can share, what they can post. And many Facebook users, primarily conservatives, have discovered a social media network called Parler. And they're saying they're going to delete their Facebook account for it. Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R, -E is more similar to Twitter than Facebook. It says it's non-biased, free speech social media that protects the rights of its users. Users sign up with an email address and phone number and get a handle. Then they begin the task of building a network. You'll likely see friends share their handles on Facebook. Now, posts are called parlays, and shares are called echoes. Now, I've found most parlays right now are about politics, the distrust of media, and free speech. Lots of posts about President Trump and election fraud. In some ways, Parler's terms of service and privacy policies are similar to Facebook and Twitter. Parler, for instance, can remove content and terminate accounts. It also states it can monetize content that you publish without compensating you. Millions of people have downloaded the app in the past few weeks, making it number one in the App Store ahead of TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. It's grown faster than the company expected, and many users are having trouble right now creating accounts and logging on. Those issues will likely be remedied soon. And while Parler is most like Twitter, there's another social media network out there called MeWe that's a lot like Facebook, and it's getting some traction. I want to take a close look at MeWe next time. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Parler launched in 2018. That app has been downloaded nearly a million times since Election Day and more than half a million on Sunday alone.